I don't know if you guys were peeping right there, but I went for a grab and Foxy micro ducked. He basically let go of block really fast and then blocked and he avoided the grab. He just kept micro ducking. He just kept micro ducking, man. Yo, what it do, guys? Welcome back. I'm gonna bring another episode of Inside My Mind, and this is gonna be another top eight match from Evo. And it's gonna be about me versus a foxy grandpa, man. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. All right, so I decided to go Liu Kang, and I know it might be a little confusing as to why I went Liu Kang, considering I haven't really played Liu Kang all that much um, in probably the last year and a half. I really only pull it out at this point in matchups I need to. And I felt like pulling it out versus Foxy was just the right thing to do. Because Lou covers all his characters pretty well. Not saying he beats them, but he definitely uh, goes at least 5-5 with all of them. I don't think Lou loses to any of his characters. Even people in the, the crowd, you know, like other players were like, Why did you go Lou? Like, versus, um, you know, his characters. And it's just like, bro, like, they're like, you're working way too hard. So why don't you go Kodo? Why don't you go Kano? I'm like, bro. All it takes is for Foxy to switch, and I'm in an unfavorable situation. So, rather just pick a character that does good across the board. Oh my gosh, right here? That was annoying, bro, because for one, he only survived this fatal blow because he has 1100 health. And he got a shield. So basically, if both, um, if both opponents, or if both players mesh, I think, I don't know if it's any button or if it's X specifically, but if you mash at a right time, you can either deal more damage or the opponent could um, actually keep themselves from eating more damage by pressing X at the right time. But he survived because he has 1100 health. And then right here, my idea was just I'm going to throw a fireball until, you know, he, uh, he dies. If he shoots a low gunshot and we trade. I'm going to win the trade because he's already close to death. But then he shot a rocket and it killed me. And it's faster than my little fireball. So. Playing against um, Robocop is such a huge... You got to be so... I mean, I definitely just broke patience right there. But you got to be so patient. You got to be able to flaws block all his projectiles so that you're not taking an unnecessary chip. If you're able to flaws block a lot of his stuff on reaction every time, he really can't deal much chip to you. Robocop's whole game plan is literally to just zone you out and hope you get hit in the process trying to avoid getting zoned out. Because in reality, all you really sh you really shouldn't be getting hit by too much other than like maybe command grip. That's really the only dirty thing he has is command grip. No, yeah, this was a this is an insane round. Like everything was just going right this round. He couldn't make one right decision. Flawless actually. Okay, let me go back to something that is actually really good right there. So I did meaty back one, and instead of committing to the whole string, I just did the one hit. And because I decided to do the one hit, I caught him jumping, and I was able to convert off of it simply because I did the one hit. If I would've did the whole string right there, it would've whiffed. The whole string would've whiffed. All because I decided to do back one and not the whole string, I got 38%, and he got put in this trash position into a flawless. And then he switches to Sub-Zero right here. Um, I don't really know why, but probably because he just already felt that Robocop matchup wasn't going to do it for him. Rising Ice, I think that's what it is. That, yeah, yeah. He gets a big damage off of that. Um, the only thing that sucks about Rising Ice is you have to commit to the mix. Like, there is no, he's not playing any safety in this variation. Meaning, like, anytime he commits to a mix-up, he's pretty much going to die if he's wrong. I cannot believe he ducked that command grab. I don't know if you guys were peeping right there, but I went for a grab and Foxy micro ducked. He basically let go of block really fast and then blocked and he avoided the grab. Yeah, he just kept micro ducking. He just kept micro ducking, man. That was a clutch duck on the ice ball. So basically I realized like, so basically since he has all those moves and I've already visually saw that he chose them. Um, he doesn't have EX Ice Ball, and EX Ice Ball is a mid, but since he doesn't have it, I literally don't have to worry about it. Like right here, I just ducked, punished. Well, actually, I didn't even punish it, I just I just caught him mashing. Bro, I choked that punish so bad. I think he tried to do forward too into Rising Ice, but just got stand two into it, and then I literally missed the punish so bad, that was ugly. That honestly, that drop probably cost me this, this this game. Honestly, yeah, this that drop cost me the game. I think I was gonna kill him if I punish. 
we were, we were, bro, I tried to floss block that up three multiple times this set. Foxy was not afraid to wake up up three. I kept trying to floss block it, but it wasn't working. So I jumped right there because I thought he was either going to throw or forward two, and it just so happened that he forward two and it whiffed, so I guess it worked out for me. I think him not playing EX Ice Ball really made this matchup a lot easier. I'm really happy he didn't, he didn't play it. Yeah, he did. He did that one two into one two again, and I still got hit by it because I thought he would change it up, but he's still swinging. As you can see, Foxy's just straight up committing to that overhead, and I'm doing a pretty good job at either blocking it or just straight up avoiding it. That was a really good grab. KB 35 buff. I try to floss block it again. Then right there, he tried to micro duck. Got jailed. Yeah, I don't think Foxy really completed an actual like optimal katana combo this entire set. Yeah, Foxy was getting me a lot with uh, counter poking my down ones with his grab, and he kept hitting me. It's like I was trying to make myself ungrabbable, but yeah, he was still able to get a lot of grabs off. See, that was so good. Honestly, that was so bad of me to just sit there and take that grab. I actually started changing my game plan just a little bit this last game, at least this first round of this last game. I was really starting to grab more because I noticed that the whole reason I lost that last round was because I was not grabbing. I was trying so hard to kill him with a hit, that, but he just sat there and blocked. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to grab him. Grab him. See that? I think this is 15%. That's a lot. That was good. Loaded KB, flawless block. See, that was what I've been trying to do this whole time, guys. So basically, I flawless blocked his up three, which makes flawless blocking like pretty much almost all up threes in this game, besides maybe like a few, makes them actually punishable in block. And up threes are notoriously safe, but if you flawless block them, frame that it changes. So right here, he whiffed the grab. I load two amplifies of my KB, buff up, flawless block, restand, damage, punish, and then he flawless blocks me. That was good though. At this point, I know that like he kind of has to grab me if he wants to like. Yeah, so I just I just jumped. I was getting clipped by a lot of fans, but in my head, I was like, if I get into fatal blow territory, he's dead anyway. Yeah, we're playing footsies. We're playing footsies with our projectiles. All right, now he's literally dead if I hit him once, and I think once again I got into that mode of. Oh, I just want to hit you so bad. I don't remember if I grabbed. Yep, I actually grabbed. See, I wasn't doing that last time. I wasn't. Wait, <laughs> I should have grabbed him, bro. I should have grabbed him. That was such a good grab. He basically had to guess if I was going to finish that string or not. And I could have just jumped or ducked after it. He still grabbed. That was crazy. Right here, teched it. Such a good tech. Because I flaws blocked it and I choked. All right, so basically, after I tech the throw, I dashed up flaws block. For some reason, I don't know why, at a high level, even it, it gets me sometimes. When you see somebody flaws block, you almost think they got hit. So you hit confirm into like something unsafe. That's exactly what he did. He thought I got hit, so he hit confirmed into the lift. I blocked it, choked the punish. Block, choked the punish, bro. The reason why I choked that punish was because um, I was going to go for 1, 2, 3, bicycle kick KB, but then I was like, wait, 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 does he have break? Does he have break? I'm not sure, because if I did 1, 2, 3, bicycle kick, he could break. So I was like, no, do 1, 2, bicycle kick. Keep in mind, he didn't even have resources to break, so I already choked. And then I changed my mind last second to do 1, 2, bicycle kick, but by then I already, like, I choked the input. Thank goodness I didn't break right there. I did a double jump. That was so good. Okay, well, I, I know I already went back once, but right here... So basically, I jumped in. Foxy loves trying to trip guard with, with grab, so I just jumped again. 32 or 33, just like that. And then he jumps again, bro. Foxy's actually a maniac. So at this point, all I'm kind of doing in my head, I'm just like, keep damage buff on. If I could hit him with a projectile to like get his health down enough to kill him next touch. Look, now he's already one touch away from death. And I think he he clearly knows that too. So he's trying to keep me out. 
and then I got the luckiest jump in. That was my whole goal was to jump over that fan, but the fact that I jumped over the high fan, the high fan usually anti's. That was like, it was almost like I was meant to be in Grand Finals because he threw that fan in anticipation of me trying to jump, yet I still jumped over it and I actually hit him before the amplifier came out. Yep, and we both, knew, I, we both knew that he was dead, so we just shook up the moment he got hit by the fatal blow. Um, that was a good game, man. That's gonna wrap up the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, drop a sub to the channel, drop a like, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.